I use Godot, Unity and Game Maker and today I want to share my experience and thoughts with you. I'll be contrasting them by highlighting their pros and cons. The main thing here is the fact that I have experience in the three of them. So the points presented will be from somebody that took the time to experiment with them. Therefore, they are real points from an actual developer that used the three. So I hope that this video is indeed helpful. Let's get started. First of all, let me quickly explain my experience uh, in the three engines. I used Godot for one year since February 2021 to February 2022. Here I didn't create anything that is currently public in any kind of platforms besides my GitHub. That you have it in the description down below that you are going to be able to check most of the projects that I am showcasing. Because when I started with Godot I didn't have the idea of publishing anything i just wanted to try out game development try out a game engine so my aim was always to basically learn something and create simple yet effective prototypes that could actually be played actually most mostly all of them are quite complete you do have a complete gameplay you even have in some of them a shop system but well maybe with some more polish they could even be publishable games then in february 2022 i started uh, using unity and with unity yes i do have some titles published in the google play store once again you can check them out in the description down below and you can even play them for free if you have an android phone oh well not only did i create some uh, indie games but also worked for voodoo as an external studio so basically i tested uh, some prototypes with them the the main thing about these prototypes is that i was building them alone i was the only developer but well i had a a, a huge good out a, a huge voodoo team um supporting me giving me more ideas telling me what to correct etc so indeed the the tests that are that i tried out with them are quite quite polished i used unity for my own purposes and with voodoo until something like february 2024 and also in that time i had uh, some uh, freelance clients that i created some games for them as well but well after working as a freelancer um i landed my first job a formal job as a course instructor as at semba I I was there creating uh, or I am there actually creating good old courses. I was I I I spent two months creating good old courses. So uh, this was until May of this current year, and after that, from May to the current time, I am creating game maker courses. So indeed, my experience in game maker isn't super long, but well, I I, I think that I can still provide some interesting things uh, with the with the short experience that i had let's uh, start off discussing good out the main pros that i can easily identify in good out is being able to create 2d games super quickly what takes 30 minutes in other engines at least in terms of the 2d environment can be created in without in a matter of just a few minutes this is due to the node system that makes everything so fast easy uh, and organized at the same time and also because of the programming language that is GDScript that well its syntax and its workflow it's again much simpler than uh, the one that you may have in Unity or Game Maker in the way I see it also something to highlight about Godot is the documentation the documentation is just amazing it is super well explained you can even find um, full games there in the documentation how to create full games so it is quite quite polished some, something to highlight is the node system. This is personal, but it really helps to getting things organized and easy uh, in order to add when you need new stuff. Also, the programming language, factually speaking, is the easiest programming language across the three. It is the easiest and the most efficient to use. You may like it more, you may like it less, but well, it is the easiest uh, by far. Also, GameMaker is not that difficult, but um, if we compare, for example, GDScript, to uh, c sharp of course gdscript is way way easier and also other thing to highlight is the supportive community and the constant updates that are besides uh, good out as it is open source everything done by the community the community is always there uh, behind doing amazing things 
and in terms of the cons basically it is new so it doesn't have that many functionalities as uh unity have for example i am not saying that Godot is an engine that was released yesterday but what i mean is that unity has decades in the market and without like only for the three for the last three four years it has been used like widely because of course it existed before four years ago but well they were quite poor in all senses okay so it wasn't like a polish and usable engine until two or three years ago four i would even say so this this causes that it lacks some functionalities inside of the engine and also in gd script as well gd script may be easy but i think that it still lacks some built-in variables that exist in unity for example and well that here don't exist so uh, this takes this makes the time uh, go higher okay even though you do save time with the node system and with the overall workflow then you have to spend extra time uh, leading with gd script because it does lack some key functionalities and also as it is like a newer engine it also means that there is less information available for fixing errors adding new features or even more importantly when you are a beginner it is maybe a little bit more complicated to get into if there is a lack of information of course the engine is still quite easy to learn and to use but well for a beginner when you are a beginner you always rely on tutorials and well of course there are still lots of tutorials but not as many as in unity for example now in terms of unity the pros here, I think that one of the main pros here is that there is information everywhere, okay? It is the industry standard, therefore plenty of information, literally even under the rock that you have in your garden. Whenever you have a problem, you can search it in Google and probably somebody already had had the problem that you are, that you are currently having since the engine has been existing for literally decades. And this is the engine that has the larger user base right now. Also, it is polished from end to end, unlike without. Um, and it liter this literally, um, in all the extent of the world, in its programming language, in the interface, in the functionalities, in the physics, wherever, okay? Also, you will find fewer errors and bugs than in any other engine. This is, again, because of the long journey that it has. And also, I personally really like the workflow that you uh, have in Unity from creating new game objects, attaching multiple scripts to the same object, etc. I think that it actually helps create better structured projects and even better games. Because for example, the fact that in without you can attach multiple scripts, I know that it has an explanation behind it, it is the way um, in which without works and it's, and it's part of their unique workflow. But I think that just in, in Unity, the possibility of having different scripts named conveniently uh, to having each mechanic of the uh, certain object even in bigger projects it is just way better than maybe the system that you have in without and the cons of unity basically that it is heavy both in size it will take too way too much space in your disk and also this is also related to loading times okay whenever you want to open create a project it literally takes ages and in without and even in game maker this is made like in literally two or three seconds and then of course other cons is the fact that it, it has let's say a controversial company behind okay you probably already know about the unity debacle that was like even one year ago we are pretty close to to having there one year ago since the unity debacle about the runtime fee that they wanted to implement so yes, let's say that the company behind maybe doesn't have the best manage management. Oh, well, for example, in without that doesn't happen since it is open source. Now, finally, Game Maker. In terms of the pros, the workflow with the event system is amazing. It really uh, helps to keep things handy and organized. It really uh, like makes me think about the how Unity allows you to attach multiple scripts to the same object because it really helps keep everything organized of course they are way different but it just like rings a bell when you are adding events and uh, writing a specific code in those specific events instead of having everything in just one script also the the editor provides aligning tools in the scene editor to position things more easily so this is quite useful maybe not in lots of cases but there are some specific ones when you want to center an object when you want to put certain margin between them so in those cases, yes, indeed, the, the Game Maker Editor, this tool at least is quite, quite useful. And then it is also quite a fast engine. Debugging, compilation, creating and opening 
uh, projects it is quite similar to Widowed. I would say that Widowed is, is still faster, but they are quite close to it. Of course, it is super far away from Unity in terms of loading times. If the Maker literally opens, let's say, to put it in there, 5 seconds to open a project and Widowed takes 2, okay? And Unity takes 60 seconds. Cons, I don't like the object flow of creating an object asset, then the sprites, then attaching the script, and then loading the sprite in the object, I believe that this just makes the process quite slow and efficient, uh, and inefficient, sorry. It also lacks a lot of information. Uh, you may find either outdated information from something three or four years ago when Widow wasn't so popular, or maybe you try to look for information that doesn't exist at all. And as I told you, I didn't use GameMaker for long and I wanted to look for super simple stuff like literally how to use, I don't know, a particle system correctly and indeed the tutorials that were there, the documentation, wherever was really complicated to follow along with. And in this case, as GD script, I think that it still lacks basic functions in the code. But here it is even more extreme than what we have in Guido. That GD script is quite, it's quite complete, but GML, that is the programming language here, does lack a, a lots of things. Like you can check, for example, that the move and collide function was introduced or at least documented in something like one year ago. The move and collide function that is a super, super simple function in 2D and super basic and that you are using literally in every single game that has a player movement system. So this is the final table with the main differences between these three engines. Of course, there are still lots of things that could be compared. Um, but well, I hope that at least with this, you do have a better um, understanding of all these engines from my experience, okay? Ah oh, well, basically let me know what you think about all these engines in the comments down below. Subscribe for more game development uh, content and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.